So before we start, just quickly whisk through the materials. Colours I've got Ultramarine Blue, Lemon Yellow, Pines Grey, Lizard Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber, Light Red, but I'm not necessarily going to use all of them. We've got the Large Hike Brush, 3 quarter inch flat, and a number 3 rigger. And I'm using 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper that weighs 130 pounds. Roll of tissue in case I need it, and that's all we need. I thought we'd do just uh, an imaginary Scottish landscape today, something from the highlands with some distant mountains and hills, maybe a bit of water. So first. I'm going to wet the paper, plenty of water, it'll take at least a couple of minutes to dry to give me a chance to get the sky in, so I don't get any hard edges with the clouds or anything like that. So once I'm happy that that's wet all over, I'm going into strands of the raw sienna. You can see some of the colour that's already on uh, some of the dirty colour on the palette, but it doesn't really matter. It all adds to the uh, interest. Clean brush. And I'm going to start down the bottom. I'm just going to clean that yellow a bit because I've got a. It's gone a bit greeny. Eh? I've got to be quick before this dries. So straight into the yellow. Maybe just such a light red. Put a, it could be a sunset or something like that, but continue, there's going to be water down here so I want to get the reflection in. You can put it in light, but you've got to then mess about getting exactly the same colour when you put your reflection in. It's a lot easier to just do it at the start. Then just above there, I might have, say, a bit of light red, ultramarine. Maybe touch of a lizard and crimson. And then just brush that in. And again, reflections down the bottom. And then clean brush. Now I'm going to ultramarine. Just ultramarine on its own. And just put some of that at the top. Maybe just flick it down like that, around the clouds. Just use a little, just a tissue, maybe just fluff it up a bit like so. A little bit of blue in the water down the bottom somewhere. Not too much. I'm just going to add a little bit of, a little bit more light red and ultramarine. Just a few clouds dotted around. I'm sure they get smaller and smaller as they go off into the distance. Maybe just use the tissue on those as well, just to soften them up a bit down the bottom. There's no proper rules, I mean just, just get stuck in, just get stuck into it, as long as it looks alright, I mean, no one's going to get too worried about it. Now, I'm going to pull that tight, stretch it a little bit after I've wet it all. 
but because I wet it all evenly I can just pull it tight so I haven't got to worry about pre-stretching before I start to paint which can be a bit cumbersome. Now I just want to get some, some hills in the background so just a combination of all the sky colours. More blue than anything because you want, you want it to look uh, It helps make it um, push it right back into the background when there's plenty of blue. So I'm going to come somewhere. Big one there on the on the left hand side. Little gap here where the uh, in the little valley, so and then. And then pushes off. Make sure it's parallel with the bottom of the pipe back to the what it'll look silly if you your land slants in one way or the other. So that's the most distant landing. Now I'm gonna go stronger. I'm not cleaning the brush. Well I'm just tipping the ready edges in just to bring all the hairs back together. going into ultramarine they get well pretty much the same colours again as the sky colours it's just a bit of a free for all at the moment light red ultramarine raw sienna and uh, there's a near a one coming down there I think put that in and again on the near the side I'll leave a little gap there for where the water's flowing through. I'm going to clean the brush again this time. I'm just going to just dip the very tip in just to make sure the hairs are together at the end. I'm just going to go into raw sienna, just raw sienna on its own. I'm going to go back up into here. Just add a bit of variation in these. Uh, Almost into the middle ground there. There might be a bit of ultramarine, raw sienna ultramarine. We start to see the first bits of green in our little landscape. A bit of lemon yellow. More lemon yellow, I think. There's plenty of grass down in this side now. Have a quick sweep. Ultramarine. It's just dips and dabs. I'm leaving plenty of unpainted white areas. As soon as you get plenty of paint, watery, but as soon as you go woof, you've covered it then, and it's you've you've, you've You've lost it. Just keep, just keep dabbing here and there. All these little unpainted white areas just add a little bit of interest. So I'm just going to clean the brush again. 